In the 1960s, there were two, uh, there were two workers called Wilson and Jungner. Has anyone heard of Wilson and Jungner? Yeah, Paul has heard of Wilson and Jungner. But uh, they were very uh, central in screening theory because what they did was that they developed a series of criteria for a, 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 a useful screening program for disease, not just necessarily cancer, but a, a useful um, background to screen for disease. So if you had a disease like, well, for example, colorectal cancer, if you've got a disease and you want to know, is this a good disease to screen for? What, what do we need to know about the disease? Any ideas? The natural history of the disease, yeah. But we know quite a lot about the natural history of disease of bowel cancer. We know about the adenoma. We know that it invades. We know that the outcome is better in patients with early disease and with late disease. So if you've got an early cancer, a stage A cancer, which hasn't actually invaded all the way through the bowel wall, your chances of being alive five years later after treatment are about 90%, very high. you will almost certainly be cured. Whereas if you have a cancer that has actually gone through the bowel wall into the lymph nodes, your chances of being alive in five years are only 30%. And if it's actually gone to other organs, then it's down to about 5%. So the more advanced it is, the, uh, the worse the outlook. So we know quite a bit about the natural history of the disease. So that's one good thing about bowel cancer. Okay, any other criteria for a program for screening? There has to be a treatment if you discover it. There has to, exactly. There's absolutely no point in finding a disease if you can't treat it. There has to be effective treatment for the disease. Do we have effective treatment for the disease of colorectal cancer? Well, we do. And it's primarily surgery. It's primarily removing the tumour and the lymph nodes. That's the, the primary treatment of this disease. And for early cancer, it's the only treatment. You don't need chemotherapy or radiotherapy for, a, for early disease, which is... Uh, much less, because it's much less morbidity, much less unpleasantness, and it's a lot cheaper. So it's jolly good. So you, you've got to have effective treatment. And, but the other thing that's important about this effective treatment is you've got to know that treating a disease at the early stage is better than treating the disease at the late stage. Because if it isn't, then there's not much point in going looking for it at an early stage. And that's a very critical thing about uh, bowel cancer. And we'll come on to how we know about that uh, in a little bit. So anything else about the screening, about you know, what would be necessary for uh, an effective screening program? It's Sorry? Cost effective. Yeah, yes, yeah, so it's got to be cost effective. It's got to be affordable. There's no point in you know, having a screening program that costs 100,000 pounds for every uh, cancer that's diagnosed, because the country just couldn't afford it, really. I mean, it's as simple as that. We all know that the, the, the NHS is, uh, you know, teetering on the brink and always has been. But uh, we always seem to keep our head above water, and we can't afford to, to do that sort of thing. So it's got it's got to be a reasonable price. Yes. Anything else? It can be simple and reliable. Yeah. So the test itself has got to be simple, because it's got to be cheap. Uh, you know, literally, it shouldn't be cheap. It's got to be reliable. So it's got to pick up. Um, you know, a high proportion of the cancers that are in the population, and it shouldn't pick up, shouldn't be positive for a lot of people who don't have the disease. So it's got to be sensitive and specific. Yes, it's going to be cheap, simple, and accessible. Accessible, yeah, and acceptable. So people will, you, know, you have to have a test that people will be prepared to do. If you've got a, a very unpleasant, invasive, painful test, then people are just going to say no thanks. Whereas if you've got a simple test then people will be prepared to do it, okay? And it has to be safe, obviously. You don't want a t test that's actually going to be dangerous. 